helped me with losing a body part. A patient cured is a customer lost. It gives me so much hope that one plant can provide so much relief. Hey guys, it's Short and Stoned, but if you're new here, you can call me Kelly. I am a can of advocate, medical patient, and solventless foods entrepreneur. On today's episode, we are going to be diving into a wake and bake. So grab your energizing and best day starting products to sesh along with me. And I will be sharing a story time of why I am a medical patient and how I benefit from the plant. We are going to be joined by a special guest, Mr. Bones. Today, we are going to be seshing on the new Puffco Peak be my first real hit of the day just for this video while we get into this story time we are going to be starting our day off right with some oleo solventless this is in the flavor grape soleus which is a cross between grape pie and jet fuel quite the way to start the day am i right oh super gassy and grapey just like you'd expect let me know down in the comments is there a certain lineage that you like to start your day with I really love the size of this new Puffco. I can literally use it with one hand, scoop it in with the other. All right, cheers guys. We'll start on the lowest temperature. I don't wanna kill my lungs. All right, while this is heating up, I'll let you guys know. I first got my medical card in 2018 and I still have it to this day. I originally got it in Pennsylvania. And then when I moved to Colorado, of course I had to get it renewed out here. Originally and still to this day, my main reason for having a medical card is for my physical constant pain. I was diagnosed pre-birth with Robino syndrome. That is a rare form of dwarfism which affects every aspect of my life, but mainly is the chronic pain I have to battle and medicate for every day. Cheers. freaking golly Ooh. you see when i was 10 years old i had orthopedic surgeons break my ankles take out a chunk of bone use two plates per ankle and a dozen screws and realign my legs so that i could walk i required a wheelchair after my surgery while i recovered and then i had to get the plates out again when i was 13. again all of this is just so i could walk and because I was in so much pain from my Robino syndrome, I couldn't do so. Similarly, now that pain is starting to progress in my knees and my hips. And being the active 20 something year old that I am today, who goes to music festivals, hikes, concerts, I keep putting off my surgeries. So I just keep medicating with cannabis and honestly, it does the trick. I'm not to the point yet where I can't walk full time. Granted, my pain does get to that level. Majority of the time I medicate for pain so that I can have a similar quality of life as anybody else. Another type of physical pain that I deal with is endometriosis. So recently I've been using RSO on my belly button to help combat that pain. I use edibles for deep seated pain and I use inhalation methods, topicals and vaporizers for when it's something light that I feel like can be relieved rather quickly. So it's all about what kind of pain I'm in and then tempering that and evaluating and just being mindful how I can best use products I have available to combat that quickly. This is Yuki, by the way. So another reason people medicate such as myself besides physical pain or pain caused by a physical disability is mental health reasons. I also have the lovely pleasure of dealing with anxiety, depression, and PTSD. Medicating with the plant allows me to still be mindful, in control, feel like myself without reaching for pharmaceuticals. All of those different medications and pharmaceuticals, nothing quite relieved my symptoms, but also none that gave me side effects that felt worth the risk of taking the medication in the first place. And then I found cannabis. 
I tried it originally when I was 13 on vacation with my cousin, but then as I grew older, as I got into my later teens, I started college, I really started to realize the benefits it had for my body when I started to be a bit more mindful in my consumption. And why I'm a medical patient, in short, I deal with a ton of physical pain from my head to my toes, from my Robino syndrome, a rare form of dwarfism, which is why my name is Short Stone. But also, just like a lot of people, majority of people in this day and age, I'm dealing with mental health problems. And there's no shame in admitting it. And there's also no shame in saying that a plant has the power to provide me with more relief than any institutionalized system ever has and ever will. I'm grateful that I can be having an anxiety attack and I can lean on this plant and feel reassured, relieved. I can look at the bigger picture peels away the stress so I can see clearly. I'm super thankful for when I'm crying in pain. I can't move. I'm grateful that I have the tools in my toolkit in front of me, in my sesh box, to go pull out products that I know can provide me with relief. That I can layer products and use products simultaneously, parallel and tandem, and get an amazing effect that provides me not just with relief, but the ability to thrive and kick butt throughout my day. I'm such an advocate for this plant and how much it's helped me. I've been a medical patient consultant. I've seen firsthand talking with patients, seeing those interactions every day, every week, them coming in, telling me what works for them, how it's helped them. It gives me hope that this plant can heal and help people. All right, I'm bumping this up to green. I'm gonna get this going again. I feel like I'm rambling because I'm so grateful for this plant and if you're out there and you find the relief too, cheers. Mm. I just can't have a video about why I'm a medical patient and not speak upon how much a minor cannabinoid, not even the main one, helped me with losing a body part. You can't argue with that pain. I'm just honestly overwhelming my body with CBD at this point. If you're looking into medicating for any type of pain or anything you need relief with and you think the plant might help, I have a previous video also about how you can elevate and add the plant to any food or drink with easy ways. Just remember, a patient cured is a customer lost, and no one cares about your health more than you. Cheers. States. So that's well over 50% of states have some sort of medical system in place. So definitely check that out. There are perks like higher doses, cheaper taxes, better selections. If you have any questions at all, please, please, please let me know in the comments. Like I said, I am a solventless foods entrepreneur, medical patient myself, have been a medical patient consultant in the past. And I just love talking and educating people, especially on the level of how can this plant help you? And in what form can it best help you? In fact, I'm reading A Signal of Misunderstanding, a government funded report in 1972. And in it's a whole section on the medical value of it. Now they did turn around and throw this out and run with false propaganda. Tropicana, grape pie, and papaya. Oh my, oh my god! Like a fruity overload. Back in my mouth! Cheers guys.
I tap out. I resign. Ooh. I consider myself both waked and baked. <coughs> if you made it to the end of this video, comment your favorite flavor or lineage to wake up with. Make sure to check out last week's video where I was puffing with my peak around Telluride, a adorable mountain town. And stay tuned for next week's video where I share what's in my travel to go bag. Plot twist. This is in it. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed this content and click subscribe if you'd like to see more of me. I make videos every Thursday, so I'll see you next week. Peace. If no one told you today, I appreciate you.